Today, I'm gonna to show you a super simple tip that's gonna make your life so much easier when you wanna work with a log profile. Rather than going into your editing software and adding in contrast levels to get the footage looking how you want it with maybe some saturation, you're gonna have much better results if you use a transform LUT. These transform LUTs come from your camera manufacturer. So if your camera has a log profile, the camera manufacturer is going to have created a transform LUT. This transform LUT will properly apply contrast and saturation into your image, getting it to look like a proper Rec. 709 piece of footage. To apply this transform LUT in Final Cut Pro, we'll go down to the effects, we'll just look up the custom LUT effect and apply that onto our footage. From there, we'll go to the top right, find the LUT, and change it over to the proper transform LUT. If you can't find the LUT in this list, then you can just go down to choose custom LUT and locate the LUT that you downloaded from the camera manufacturer's website. Now that I've applied that LUT, you can see that I have the proper contrast and saturation on my image. But this is another area where people make a huge mistake. Oftentimes, after the transform LUT has been applied, they will go in and apply some basic color corrections. So now I'll add in my contrast, Maybe I'll decide that the highlights are too bright in here and I'll bring that down and then they'll bring in their saturation. But the main issue with this problem is if I take a look at my video inspector, the color wheels has been applied underneath the LUT. This means that we are completely negating all of the benefits that come with log footage. That being that there is so much more dynamic range with log footage. So rather than apply this color correction below the custom LUT, we want to apply it above. And if you take a look at this light, you'll really see why this is important. When I drop the highlights, you'll notice that there's still data retained in this highlighted area of the image. That means I'm getting access to all of that dynamic range that was filmed in the log profile. And the same thing can be said with the shadows. If I raise the shadows, you'll see that there is new detail that's introduced here in the shadow areas of my image. So it's extremely important that you apply these corrections above the custom transform LUT. That way you can retain all of the possible data found inside of your log profile. Now, if you're like me, you don't wanna have to go in and apply a color wheels effect before you apply your custom LUT and then load in that custom LUT every single time on your images. You just wanna drop your footage onto the timeline and then quickly correct it with one click. And luckily, most editing software can do that. In Final Cut Pro, all we'll do is come down to this Save Effects preset. In here, we can just call it the Log Correction and we could throw it into whatever category we like. Now, I use this effect all of the time, so I've created a category called Star Faves. This serves as my favorites folder in Final Cut Pro. From there, we can go ahead and push Save. So now, anytime I need to correct some footage on my timeline, I'll drop this down there. We can go into my faves folder and we can see that my log correction is here inside of my favorites folder. I'll go ahead and apply that and you'll notice that my color wheels have been applied before the custom LUT and the custom LUT has brought in this transform LUT for me. Plus, I can just go inside these color correction wheels and adjust the exposure as I need it to get the proper exposure levels. And then from here, I can go in and properly grade my footage to get it how I want it. If you're interested in learning more powerful tips about Final Cut Pro, then I strongly recommend you check out this video where I show you 10 mistakes you might be making as a Final Cut Pro editor. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.